Hello and welcome to Ashford.com, you are watching an interesting video on damage done in the brains of sleep apnea sufferers is down to weaker brain blood flow. Please read this disclaimer carefully, according to a new study conducted by health economists at the University of East Anglia and the Centre for Diet and Activity Research in the UK, walking or cycling to work is better for people's mental health than driving. Around 10% of adults content with obstructive sleep apnea, a condition characterized by symptoms of brain dysfunction such as extreme daytime sleepiness, depression, anxiety and memory problems. Now, a new study published in Close 1 suggests the damage done in the brains of sleep apnea sufferers is, is down to weaker brain blood flow. A CPAP device worn at night is often used to treat sleep apnea. The study was led by Paul Macy, of the University of California Los Angeles, UCLA, School of Nursing, and funded by the National Institute of Nursing Research. People with obstructive sleep apnea, OSA, typically make gasping or snorting noises periodically during sleep, which momentarily interrupts their sleep hundreds of times a night. Every time their breathing stops, their blood oxygen level drops, damaging cells in the body. If the condition is left untreated, it can lead to high blood pressure, stroke, heart failure, diabetes, depression and other problems. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, if other medical problems such as congestive heart failure or nasal obstruction are present, the condition may resolve with treatment of these problems. However, gentle air pressure delivered during sleep usually in the form of a nasal continuous positive airway pressure CPAP, device, can also serve as an effective treatment. Weaker Brain Blood Flow Response in OSA Patients For their latest study, Macy and colleagues measured brain blood flow in sleep apnea patients using a non-invasive MRI procedure called the Global Blood Volume and Oxygen Dependent BOLD, signal. They explain that this method is typically used to examine brain activity, and since previous research shows that sleep apnea sufferers often have poor regulation of blood in the brain, they use the whole brain bold signal to observe blood flow in participants with and without OSA. We know there is injury to the brain from sleep apnea, says Macy, and we also know that the heart has problems pumping blood to the body, and potentially also to the brain. He explains that by using the BOLD method, they were able to observe changes in oxygenated blood amounts throughout the whole brain. Participants from the study, which included both men and women with and without OSA, had their BOLD signals measured while they were awake during three physical tasks. The Valsala maneuver, in which they breathed out forcefully through a small tube that raises the pressure in the chest a hand grip challenge in which the participants squeezed hard with their hand a cold presser challenge, in which the participant's right foot was placed in icy water for one minute. Macy says the Valsala maneuver did not yield significant differences between the participants with sleep apnea and without, however, with the hand grip and cold presser challenges, the individuals with OSA had a much weaker brain blood flow response. The investigators hypothesized that these differences were due to the signals from the nerves in the arms and legs needing to be processed through high brain areas that control sensation and muscle movement, which was slower because of the brain injury. They add that because changes from the Valsalem maneuver are mainly driven by blood pressure signaling in the chest, it does not require the muscle controlling parts of the brain. Study Limitations Another finding from the study reveals that this problem is greater in women with OSA than men, which the researchers say could explain why women have worse apnea-related outcomes. Additionally, other studies from UCLA have previously shown that brain injury from the condition is significantly worse in women than in men. Though their findings are significant, the researchers note several limitations to their study. One is that the hand grip was a subjective, Non-isometric challenge, the team says ideally, the test would involve holding a grip pressure at a predetermined maximum, rather than a perceived maximum. As such, this challenge may not be considered a strictly equivalent challenge across subjects or groups, they say. 
Additionally, because the female OSI group only had six subjects, the generalizability of their sex-specific finding is somewhat limited. And at least four of the OSI patients had diabetes and potentially undiagnosed hypertension, which are associated with an neural deficit and altered cerebral blood flow, which, which could be confounding factors. Still, the researchers conclude their study by noting these findings, indicative of reduced cerebral blood flow changes to autonomic challenges in obstructive sleep apnea, complement earlier reports of altered resting blood flow and reduced cerebral artery responsiveness. Females are more effect affected than males, an outcome which may contribute to the sex specific brain injury in the syndrome. They add that they are currently investigating whether OSAT treatment can reverse the damaging effects of the brain damage. References